Crafting with the Crafty Chick. Thank you so much for coming to craft with me today. We have lots of exciting things to look forward to um, this month. Stampin' Up! has released their annual catalog, which is good for May 2021 to April 2022. And we have five new in colors this year. So every two years they come out with five new in colors. And they're good for two years and then retire. Um, so we always have every year a, a new group coming in. And so this year I really um, am excited about this year's colors. I think they really did a good job with this one. And I now have memorized all the names. So it's Polished Pink, Pale Papaya, Fresh Frasia, Soft Succulent, and Evening Evergreen. And um, this month's card kit I have used all five of our new ink colors just showcasing these colors and it also gave me a chance to um, really play with them and try them out. Evening Evergreen is a really dark um, green. Some people say it's like a dark dark hunter green. It, it I can see where it will be used a lot for Christmas or a holiday. I really love this soft succulent green and of course purple. You guys know purple is my favorite color. Pale Papaya makes me think of Peekaboo Peach that we had, um, I think, a couple years ago. And then Polish Pink, I think, is a lovely, lovely shade of pink. It makes me think of, like, a bubblegum pink. Um, a lighter shade of, like, Magenta Madness. It's not quite that bright in-your-face pink. So, really pretty color. Um, so, we are going to be using these colors for our projects today. And... Uh, the other thing I was really excited about is our Stampin' Blend, which you guys know I love coloring with my Stampin' Blend. And uh, last year, and I think the year before, we did not have Stampin' Blend in all of our, all five of our ink colors. Well, they did this year. We have all five ink colors for Stampin' Blend. So that makes it really nice to coordinate. So we have Polished Pink, Pale Papaya, Soft Succulent, Fresh Frasia, an evening evergreen. So all five in colors in the Stampin' Blend. So I've been having a lot, a lot of fun coloring with these. Thank you Stampin' Up! for doing one in every color. Um, I would love to, if we could have every single one of our color families in the Stampin' Blend, that would be cool. Okay, so just wanted to share that with you. And a couple other things I wanted to share is, this is something that, um, is new that they have done. You guys can see I have these tabs on the side of my catalog and they have offered, only demos can get them, but um, we can order these tabs for a catalog and it's really nice because then you don't have to flip through looking for a specific stamp set. If I just want holiday, then I open up this tab says holiday and I have all of the holiday um, stamp sets and projects um, ideas right here. And so it just makes it really nice to, just a quick reference. Um, and so I will be showing you guys these. And I think last month um, I used these as a prize giveaway. So I just wanted to show you really quick and I'm going to explain for those of you who have them how to use them. So when you get them they come in a package like this. and. On a sheet, so you have two sheets. So one sheet has three of our new ink colors, and I think this is Cajun Craze. And then this is Calypso Coral, and I don't remember what color this is. <laughs> Pale Papaya, Fresh Frasia, Polished Pink. Well, this might be Soft Succulent. This might be our current ink color. And so you get a sheet of each, and I'm gonna bring this up to the camera Maybe you guys can see. Focus. So as you can see, we have a couple different languages. So not all of it is in English. So this one here is in English. Um, and so what you're going to do, and I'm just going to use this one. This is a host and join. And so they are sticky backed. And so you're just going to peel it off like a sticker. And let me grab a post-it note so I can show you. So we're just going to pretend that this is a catalog page. So I'm just going to open this up here. 
And we're just going to pretend that this is a page of our catalog, just sticking out here. And what I'm going to do is, so down the center of this, there is a score line. And so before you want to put it on your page, I just kind of bend it to really get that score line in. And then you're going to line up this edge along the edge of your page and stick it on there. This would be, so remember, this is, pretend this is our catalog page. And then you're going to just fold it over and stick it to the back side. And so now you have your tab for your catalog page. And so you, when you close your catalog, you want to make sure that your tab is sticking out. So really easy to put together. I did not use the host and join on my catalog because I wanted even spacing in between my tabs for all my categories and I didn't really need to see where this one is for me. But so anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that that's how you how you put those on your catalog pages. And if anybody has any questions about these, let me know. Again, these can only be purchased by demonstrators. Okay, and then you guys all should have your catalogs by now. And um, last month I couldn't show you the inside of the catalog per Stampin' Up! Demonstrator policy. Um, and now that the catalog has gone live, we can peruse through the catalog. But we're not going to do that today. Um, I've got my wish list made. How many of you have yours made? Hmm? Okay, so I want to go ahead and tell you a couple of things really quick and then we'll get started. One of the things I wanted to mention is our Stampin' Pierce mats were not in the last year's catalog. Um, however, they were still available for purchase. Stampin' Up! was trying to um, reach higher them, but so many people complained because we use those a lot for a photopolymer stamp set. So they did bring those back, um, or not bring them back, but they do uh, showcase them in our current catalog. Um, so I wanted to mention that. And then the Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine, the Mini, I wanted to point out. In the last catalog, it was advertised you got the mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine and you got all of the plates that went with the machine. Well, in this catalog, that is not the case. You, you buy the machine and then all of the plates are separate. The cutting plates and the base plate and mini embossing plates pack are all an additional expense. So um, just an FYI on that because if the big machine does come with the plates. Um, so, or at least it did in the last, okay, yeah, it says includes all plates needed to get started for the big machine. So, just wanted to mention that. Now, are we ready to play? I'm ready to play. Okay, let's go. And if anybody needs a catalog or knows somebody that would be interested in catalog, let me know. And we can get a catalog sent out to them. But I now am just going to put out in front of me our projects we are doing for this month. And so, showcasing Pale Papaya, and then this is a soft succulent. This DSP is from the Hand Pin Suite. And this one is our Fresh Frasia. Um, so these are both the Fresh Frasia colors. And then here is our Polished Pink. And I was looking at this and I thought it kind of looks like a Barbie pink too. Yes, I played with Barbies when I was a little girl. So this pink just makes me think of that. Or the Hubba Bubba Bubblegum. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, I combined two of our green in colors, the Soft Succulent and the Evening Evergreen, both into this card. And so this is using um, two different stamp sets that's in our current catalog. So these are the samples of what we're going to make. And I'm going to bring in the stamp sets we're using today. And then we'll get started on crafting. Love, 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 love this stamp set. Can't stop playing with it. This hand pen petals has been a lot of fun. And um, we're using both of these on our projects today, both of these floral images. And, um, and then this thanks sentiment on one of the cards. But I wanted to show you also Stampin' Up! is doing something different with our stamps and stamp cases is now they have, instead of printing the picture images onto the um, plastic sheet, they now are imprinting it on our insert inside of our stamp cases. So 
if I can get this out. So up at the top, if you guys were curious, is where you can access your stamp cases. So what they've done is they've imprinted it on to our inserts. And then this way. Nope, this way. <laughs> okay, now I got it. And so you'll be able to see you can line those up with your stamp case. But And remember, these are photopolymer, so photopolymer... It's normal to have ink staining with, with that. And so this is the hand pen petals, which is on page 78 or 105. And then here is the coordinating dies that coordinate with that. I love this scallop border. Um, and did we use it? Yes, we used that on our Fresh Frasia card. Here's that scallop border that has stitching on it also. I love that stitch look. And then these are the dies that coordinate um, to die cut out the outline of both big flower images. And I have not played with these others yet, so that's next on my list. Okay, so that's from the hand pen petals bundle. And then the other stamp that we're using is the Flowers of Friendship. And this one is really cute. I really like these two flowers. Um, it has a coordinating punch, and what I really like is it does both of these flower images and then these leaves. You have a big leaf. Sorry, I know you guys are getting a glare from the camera here, or from the light. But here's a big leaf and here's a small leaf. Small flower, big flower. And the stamp, or the punch, does all of those. The, both the big leaf, the small leaf, the small flower, and the big flower. So... Um, one thing I do want to mention, for those of you who own this bundle or are thinking about getting this bundle, when you stamp your flowers, so the big flower, you want to, the stamp on the case, it shows that it's two up top, two petals up top, two on the bottom. You actually want to rotate it so it's like, it looks like a plus sign because on the punch, that's how you're going to want to punch it out. And so it just makes it easier to stamp it straight up and down like a plus sign, and then punch it out. And here's the other thing. This I was really impressed with. You do not have to worry about lining up which petal is which one. I know in the past we've had some sets where the flower petals weren't all exactly the same, and you really had to maneuver and turn your stamp image trying to figure out, well, which way to line it up in your punch with these. You don't have to do that. So thank you, Stampin' Up! That's really, really nice. Makes it really easy. Um, the, this flower, you can stamp as is, just like it shows you on here, because um, it will punch out that way on the punch. So just FYI, a tip for you on that. And these are really, these are really nice, too. And this is a nice size flower image, which we used on our projects today. So we used this one and these flower images and the leaves and the life is better with friends like you and um, the little card big thanks I really like that I like how there's two different font styles so kind of makes things a little more interesting okay so those are what we're going to be using today and I'm ready to play so what you're going to need is your mono glue, and if you have glue dots, you need to bring your glue dots in, and you're going to need some scissors for just a little, little fussy cutting, not a whole lot of fussy cutting. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and get started with our pale papaya one first. So I will pull this sample out for you guys to see. That is what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? I really, really like. And this DSP is from the hand pin um, petal suite. Oh, I forgot to put my liner in here. Okay. Um, and this ribbon. Oh, my gosh, you guys. This new in color ribbon. There's ribbon for all five in colors. And they are gorgeous. They just um, have a beautiful sh sheer to them. And they tie beautifully. Super easy. They're not super stiff or rigid. They're just. Oh, I love them, love them, love them. Okay, and this is a, all of these projects are Crafty Chick Originals. And it's been so hard coming up with ideas 
um, that weren't anything like what I've seen on Pinterest. <laughs> Uh, so, I guess this set has been pretty popular, and a lot of people have, have used them. So, really, really like it. A lot of versatility I can see with this. Okay, so now I'm just bringing my pieces in, and I see my cardstock got folded over there. Alright, so, let's get started. Um, so, just to save time, I have already done a lot of the prep work, colored, and die cut my flowers and things out and so we'll just get all of our pieces here so the first thing we're going to want to do is our so this is a dsp from the hand pen petal suite and you want to make sure your fold is up at the top so that your card is not upside down and you bring the mono glue in and we're going to go ahead and attach our soft succulent and white striped DSP to our pale papaya base. And I just um, did it like in the middle. Just try to keep it um, even amount of spacing on both the top and the bottom. And go ahead and secure that down. Okay. And then in your kit you're going to have two different pieces of Whisper White cardstock. I'm almost out of my Whisper White and we'll be transitioning over to the basic white. I was just trying to use up all my Whisper White. Um, one piece is going to be bigger than the other. So the bigger piece is four by five and a quarter. That is your inside liner. So we're going to set that off to the side and we're going to have this piece and I'm just going to lay it. You don't want to glue this down yet. We're just kind of um, staging our, our pieces here. And so you want to make sure that you've got that white border all the way around on four sides. But we're going to go ahead and attach our DSP piece to our which but white piece. And this paper is so pretty, you guys. Really, really pretty. A lot of images. They even have one that is um, the Fresh Fraser. Oh, oh no, Highland Heather. Sorry, it's the purple that they used in this DSP is not Fresh Fraser. It is Highland Heather, and it is so so pretty. We're going to go ahead and attach our Whisper White piece to our Pale Papaya DSP piece. And this thanks uh, sentiment that I stamped on is using Black Memento ink with the sentiment from the hand pen petals. Okay, so now the next thing we want to do is take your ribbon. And this is where your glue dots are going to come in handy. You can use... Um, a high check adhesive if you if you want but you do want to make sure that it's not going to show through and so I'm attaching this to the back side you want to go in about three quarters of an inch to an inch in and then I'm going to take another glue dot on this back side here I'm getting low on my glue dots I'm going to have to get some more okay Let's stick a glue dot on that one. And tuck that under there. And so now you have your ribbon on there. Now this is ready to be glued down to your card. So we're going to go ahead and glue this down with our mono glue. And let me know if um, if anyone needs some mono glue. I will be ordering some in the next week or two because I'm getting low, and I use it so much that I like to keep a few extra bottles on hand. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and attach this. Try to keep the even amount of spacing on the top and the bottom, and then same on the sides. Like I need to go this way just a little bit. Okay. And secure that down and then we're going to take our flower image so this is I color these with Stampin blends and I use soft succulent and then highlighted or accented whatever you want to call it with the evening evergreen over the vein that are on the stamp and then I use both the light and the dark pale papaya on the flowers and I've just left the centers white um, 
you can you can color them in with any color um, even another ink color or leave them white or even put gems or I mean the possibilities are endless right and I kind of like this it's a different look you know stamp and blends are alcohol ink markers and so when you're coloring with alcohol ink you need to make sure you have something underneath the project because it will bleed through the paper um, but I kind of like this this look that it gives it's kind of like a soft almost a watercolor look it's something different so one of these days I'm going to make a project and just have this kind of a look I think that would be kind of cool okay and you want to make sure that your big leaves are toward the bottom and I just rotated this just a little bit and so I'm gonna have my one big leaf kind of hanging out over the edge of this piece but you want to make sure you don't cover up where you have stamped your sentiment and then go ahead and secure that down when you're ready okay and then I wanted to point out this leaf stamped image is not a separate stamp what I what I did was I stamped this image twice and actually cut it out was it this one yeah I cut it out of this bottom leaf part here just to get that extra one in there okay and then this little flower what I have done is I'm rotating this around because up at the top you have this one big petal and then this one is off to the side and then you have two petals down here I want the one big petal facing up I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on that and glue that down and I just did it up here in this right hand corner so it's a good thing I'm putting it here because my paper was folded over it must have been when I put it in my envelope so I'm just putting this in the corner here and then we're going to glue our leaves and chuck that behind our flower before the glue dries and this goes on the left hand side there we go and you could pop these with dimensionals if you prefer them to be popped up that would be fine too okay and now glue dots are coming back in and order more glue dots okay and then this is from the pale papaya new in color beautiful sheer ribbon they call it i think that they call it open weave ribbon and it's just beautiful ribbon i had a hard time picking which colors i was going to get so just put a glue dot on the back of our bow and again remember wherever you stamp your sentiment or where your sentiment is you don't want to cover up that up with your bow and go ahead and attach that down and I can see here my tail on this end is over the edge of my card a little bit so I'm going to come in and just trim that down cut it at an angle there we go oh. okay and then we're going to attach our liner to the inside I can't believe I forgot to put a line on the sample. Go ahead and attach that. And the holiday catalog will be coming out soon. I'm super excited. Can't wait to see what they have in that. Um, Stampin' Up! just did their incentive trip to Maui. I'm so jealous. I'm like, oh, I would love to go on one of their incentive trips one of these years. Um, and yesterday, I think, was the, the last day. And some of the demos that have gone, you can see they've gotten some, they do like a prize patrol thing where they spin this wheel and every day and then you get a prize. Um, but there's a few sneak peeks of items that they won from the new catalog that's coming the holiday catalog and I'm like oh that's okay I see a few things on my list already <laughs> so anyway here is our hand pen petals pale papaya um, project for today and just super quick you can mass produce these you could just 
stamp a bunch of these, color them, like if you're waiting at a doctor's appointment or you're waiting for someone or you have maybe half an hour before you have to make dinner, have some of these ready to go, you guys. Color them, die cut them super quick and you've got them ready to go. Um, these are really fun, really, really fun. I, if I had to pick one flower image out of the whole new catalog, it'd be this one. Um, really hard to pick between these two, but I think I'd come back for this one every time. Just a favorite, as if you couldn't tell. Okay, so our base that we did today is pale papaya, and it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And our DSP from the hand pen petals is two and a quarter by four and a quarter and then the whisper white piece is three and three quarters by four and three quarters and then this hand pen dsp the polka dots the pale papaya with the white polka dot is three and nine sixteenth by four and five eighths um and then the stampin blend i use and glue dots yeah so that is it. And then the ribbon I told you guys about. So Crafty Chick Original. Feel free to taste. Get you guys a stamp set. Get this DSP and make a bunch of these. What a great, pretty gift this would make for someone. You could put these in our um, acetate card boxes. And how pretty would those be? And I just realized this one is... <laughs> I think I cut this one smaller. Oh, this one's too big. I don't know what I did. I'm going to have to go back and find that out. In fact, that's going to bug me. Bye. i got to look and see what I have going on here. Okay, so this one is... Yeah, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half, which is, which is the size it's supposed to be. And this one is four and a half. Oh, my gosh. By five and a half. So I, I apologize if yours are four and a half. Um... You could always, I know you've already probably put it together, but you can always trim off a little bit on each side without compromising your um, flower image on the front. It will have an impact on the inside, but otherwise, I mean, you just trim it down so that it will fit in your envelope. Sorry about that. Hopefully I just did that on mine. Anyway, okay, so that is this project. And let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, or if you need a catalog or know somebody that wants a catalog. And I think we are ready for project number two. I think we're going to do the Fresh Freesia. And for that one, you'll need the same. You'll need your mono glue, your scissors, and um, your glue dots. So, okay. Thank you so much for crafting with me today. I hope you have had fun and have enjoyed this project. I love you. Bye-bye.